Welcome to a Love 11 Tarot. I'm Danny, also known as RD, and over on the No Crime No Time channel. And let's do an energy check for the day, okay? So I've got a nice brass bowl here. I'm going to hit it real hard. It's going to ring out nice and clear. So if you had headphones on, I would recommend slipping them off for just a minute. Archangel Michael, please hold my hand as I walk through the tarot. Guide me to the message that is for the highest good of all those that are listening. Protect me from all spiritual and physical harm of any kind or any harm. And I thank you for all the blessings that you give to us. All right, my lovelies, let's see what we've got going on today. We're going to choose the threads of fate today. We're going to get some energy readings here. Now, I do not take these cards in reverse, just so you know. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake you. All right, let's see what we have going on today. Maya is snoring already. Oh, my God. Maya is my pug, just, you know, pillars. So it has to do with foundation. Could possibly have to do with home. Has to, you know, there's always four pillars in the foundation. As well as soul work. So there's definitely some deep diving going on here with soul work and the pillars. Let's get your center energy. Let me understand this a little better. We're going to use the good tarot here. Oh, I'm being guided to choose to do the Osho. Osho Zen tarot first, and we'll come back to the good tarot. Sounds good. I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed or liked or shared the video. I appreciate all of your support and it does matter greatly to the channel and it helps others find the channel because of the algorithm. So thank you so very much for that. Let's get your middle energy. I am so sorry for Yadi. Oh. I sat still for a minute here. <laughs> I've been going pretty steady. All right, let's get your center energy, your overall energy. What lessons and blessings do we have and advice here? It's where fate, destiny, and your free will collide. And we get that serendipity right in the middle of the reading. Okay. Wow. That was explosive. Well, there's definitely a change. It's a new beginning with a breakthrough. Wow. I mean, that says it all. A new beginning with a breakthrough. I feel as though this breakthrough has to do with this pillar. It's almost like the portal. And if you really think about it, we've got another Aquarius full moon. And we just got done with the buck full moon, with the Aquarius full moon in July. So that could be the pillars that we're speaking of. The soul work, this brings you to a place of discernment, if you will, of knowing what is yours, what is meant for you, and what is to be left for someone else is what I'm getting. Let's go into the good tarot. All right. In the east, this is where the sun rises. It happens to be the first thoughts of the day when you get up in the morning. It's the thoughts, first thoughts, first thing you speak, and the first thing that you feel. And that's what you're manifesting. So we always want to make sure that we do a check on our energy. Make sure that when you get up in the morning, you realize we're creating. Let's 
what the advice is here. So you've got this fool, a new beginning, and this breakthrough star. I knew it was about healing for sure. It's definitely about healing. It's Aquarius energy here. And Aquarius might be passing your, or crossing, I should say, your path. There is some healing here. I do feel that that would be very important to pay attention to. Let's see what we've got for a challenge with this star energy. Beautiful energy. Let's see what your challenge here is in the south node. There is something. I tried to put it back in, but it kept coming out. Okay. So we do have the six of cup, the eight of earth, and the messenger of air. So the past not holding you back is what the six of water is. It's not allowing this past that you've experienced to control your environment, your temperament, your feelings, your flow, but rather allow it to come in and go as if it's waves of an ocean to roll in and out. There is communication here that will bring in a form of harmony as your challenge is to try to embrace this past energy, whether it's your own thoughts or an actual person from the past. Could be a family member from the past. It's embracing it to keep the melodic harmony in the relationship here, which is the challenge to keep things in a balanced way. It's definitely um, working on a situation, if you will, or being becoming aware of work that needs to be done in a situation, in a possible relationship here. Let's look at the West, which is where our ancestors give us the best advice. Um... And guidance, you know, just overall guidance. Four of water and ten of cups. Four of water. So, four of water is really just focusing past everything into almost an obsessive, feeling of concentration and it could be that you're focusing on what is best for you this emotional fulfillment this tin of water let's look at your success here we're going to get a lot more qualifications here in a minute what's your spiritual success that's coming through let's see what's going on King of Earth. Huh. King of Earth is your Taurus Aries energy. Somebody is aligned to cross your path and they're going to bring a breakthrough. Um, this energy is long term we've got the ten of water for i don't see any cups on the board this could be about finances being a little bit of a challenge as well trying to master something but the past coming in between you and what you're trying to master and it's saying be diligent don't let anything fully distract you from where you need to be, which is for water can be a distraction as well. Away from your happiness could be the challenge here because you need to worry about your own stability. That's what you're going to be focused on. Let's go ahead and get some clarifications on the star here, this healing energy. And it has to do with foundation, as I said. So this is deep rooted healing, almost foundational Let's see what's going on here. 
we have in illumination ace of swords clarity coming up with the three of pentacle and wisdom coming up with the magician all right so there's going to be some communication that comes in of needing or wanting the desire to work within a community of fixed individuals. And you're manifesting this opportunity with wisdom. Somebody wants to clearly work something out with you. Let's continue and see what's going on. It brings in healing, wanting to work this out. So we have the Six of Water, Eight of Earth, and Messenger of Air. Let's look in your love position. What do you got here in love? Well, you got the Fool card. So you do have this Nine of Swords and this Fool card. There is a new beginning that is causing you a lot of anxiety, if you will. That's that sleepless night. What can you trust? Okay. Knight of Wands. This will be temporary. It's an in and out energy. It's, it's, it's almost like a distraction away from what you need to be working on. Yeah. Growth is the Eight of Pentacle again. So that's double tapped as we're clarifying. And Justice. Working on this is going to bring in a balance. But don't let it pull you completely out of what you need to be doing. Death. Scorpio energy on the board. Um, it's this rebirth. Something that was overlooked before is that you think is dead is rebirthed. What is this dream perspective? Queen of Cups could have to do with this mother figure. I don't know. It's in your perspective, this very intuitive healing energy. Page of Swords, clarity. Also can be an apology. Somebody feeling they owe an apology. And judgment. Hmm. Show me one more on this page of Swords and judgment. Even give and take. Somebody's ready to do this right. Who is this king of earth, please? And what do they bring? The stability energy, this long-term stability. Cleansing show. And thank you. What's being cleansed out is the liar, cheater, thiefer. Somebody is no longer sabotaging. And it renews a whole new perspective with a man. Let's look at this last card. Let's get some purity on the board. This is your foundational spot. It's your fourth house. All about, you know, your home life. Cancer energy on the board. Ten of swords in reverse. It's all about the healing. It's all about the healing. Somebody definitely is feeling this healing. Let's get this ten of swords in reverse a little bit clearer. What is this that the pain ends Three of Wands, a decision to move forward. The unstuck energy. Show me this cleansing of this self-sabotage. What is this? Let me look at this a little better. Here we go. Oof. Four of Wands in reverse over the Seven of Swords in... Are cleansing. What is not aligned for you is been cleansed out, is what it's saying. Something got clean, like it got clean. Show me this Four of Wands in reverse, the 1111 card, and the Seven of Swords in the cleansing possession. Position. True love. This is real love, you guys. What is this new perspective? Regret is renewed. 
somebody was feeling regret. Ooh, I can't take all that. Well, I guess I can. We'll finish her up with this. So, as I said, this new perspective, there was regret on the table. Somebody is missing this situation. There is a new perspective. But you are protected with strength from these options Walking away, four of, four of cups. See, you're missing two cups here, and you're ignoring this cup being handed to you. This Ace of Pentacles is your Ten of Cups. I mean, is your Ten of Pentacles. But Temperance is in reverse. With you know it. And then the Queen of Wands, Entrepreneurial, you know what to do. You're going to end up having to release some attachments. The decision to go within about this Knight of Pentacle. There's something about this, this King of Earth that's got you all in your head. Let's get some blessings on him. King of Earth, show me the blessings. Wind activation. There's going to be communication, no doubt. Star, show me this healing card. I feel like they've been in healing. Nurturing Gaia. Yeah, they're in healing mode. Somebody went deep within to heal. What is the six of water? Eight of earth. Rainbow blessings. Messenger of air. There's some rainbow blessings coming your way. Reflection. What you project is what you'll get back. So... I would definitely be very wise on what I focus my energy to because that's what I'm going to grow. And you can see it. You're in full manifestation mode and somebody is wanting to come in. This king of earth. They're the ones that never gives up. They're the ones that finishes the race. They're there for the long term. And they're about to tell you how they feel. Iceberg submerged. These feelings have been hidden for a long time. And they're going to come into focus, which the crystals bring in, the healing. So does this communication. And it comes in just effortless. You don't have to do anything. But stay grounded. Stay grounded. That's what you're being asked. Just do you. Just do you. I love you. To the moon and back. Talk to you again real soon.